All right, man, so what are you getting done today, bro? Oh, I got a picture for you. This is the pit right here. All right, so we're gonna do a fade. You wanna take anything off the top for the curls? I mean, you could just leave it out. Do you line it up in the front? You keep it natural. No, I, I line it up. Line it up? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's do it, man. YouTube, what is going on guys? Thank you for joining me on another haircut tutorial. Today, we're gonna start off this cut with a number three to remove the bulk all the way around. Now I'm coming off the shape of his head because we wanna maintain some curls um, on the side of his head going into the top. So we're just gonna do this all the way around, prepare it for this fade. Now, sometimes I go with, with the grain like you just saw just now, just to kind of smoothen the transition into that length. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and start to create our initial guideline. You can see we dipped it towards the C cup because I do want to keep some of the C cup. And then we're going to go blade open as our next guideline. So we're going to do one side of the head, then do the other side. And so therefore, we're going to go ahead and start to blend this section out. I'm going clipper close, opening it little by little as we go up until this section is faded. All right, so now I'm going number one guard all the way open. And that's going to be our next guideline. Now, right away, man, I'm looking at his hair and I really wish I would have faded down because you can already see different dark spots, light spots. This, you know, anytime you cut somebody's hair for the first time, um, you're not, you're not gonna be as proficient as you can be, right? So the next time I was to cut his hair, I'm gonna put a, a mental note in my head the next time we are going to fade down. Um, that's going to help me um, really pay attention to these dark and light spots because no matter how clean each of your guidelines are and how, how even they are, you're going to have a spotty look like you see right here. And what ends up happening is you're going to have to spend a way more time um, detailing after you're done fading than you would have if you just faded down. And so if I could do this cut over again that's what i would have done so it's my mistake um i should have evaluated the hair and looked at the inconsistencies from the beginning but it's really hard to do that when the hair is grown out nonetheless we're gonna get this job done i'm gonna go ahead and do the c cup now and um although it's bothering me how it looks right now the fade um i know that i'm just gonna get through this system and i'm gonna go back and spend more time detailing so All right, so once you're done fading above that number three, we're gonna do clipper over comb. As you can see, we're gonna ang get angle the comb out towards you just to, ha just to keep that shape so that it can grow in length into the top. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the left side and again, we're gonna stay consistent um, because sometimes it's it's only like that on one side. So I figured, you know what? Let me do the same steps on this side and see if it's if it's really his hair density um, or type of hair, or is it that I really need to just next time cut his hair fade down. So and what I'm gonna find out is I should have faded down. <laughs> But we're gonna keep it consistent on both sides. All 
and I think next time what I would what I'll do is I'll probably just fade down from a number three down to like a one and a half guard because that's when it starts to get um, lighter or like the one guard open and then I'll, I'll fade up into that one guard open because that's that's where I started running into problems here was as soon as I got to my one guard open boom look at this you can see the dark and light spots right um, and so that's what I'll do next time I'll fade down to a one guard open and then I'll fade up um, into that one guard open from the bottom up so mental note is here um, I don't know if I'll ever cut his hair again but bro if you watching you want to come through again I need a rematch <laughs> but seriously guys I I, I I stay transparent with y'all and I, and I share these things with you guys not be not because you know I'm trying to say every haircut is is a hard haircut but when you cut somebody's hair for the first time there's gonna be challenges and that's where you learn you learn um, when somebody's willing to identify those challenges like this isn't a highlight tape this is 100% just to like document you know and share my experiences so that y'all can learn from it on every haircut um and i can tell you i know i personally know all your favorite barbers i can person i can tell you we all go through this we all go through it When I do like long strokes like that, that, that just means I'm really trying to get in there and cut it evenly. And for some reason, it's just not cutting evenly. So, um, you know, that's just one way to kind of test and make sure um, that you are cutting an even cut. And if the outcome is, it still looks uneven, then that's when you know you gotta start using a whole lot of corners and maybe drop down to the half guard and start using corners. Where here I drop down to my one guard, closed, and use corners. And, and all I'm looking for is little dark areas that I can lighten up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and line up the C cup. And bald him out. Just like the other side, once we're done with like the, the clipper work, the fade work, above that number three, we're gonna use clipper over comb, pulling the comb towards you to create kind of a wedge shape so that you can create enough length for graduation to, to flow into the top, top length, all right? Now, his hairline was definitely tricky, but what I did was I kind of just put some, some volume there in the front, and then whatever was still laying there, laying down, um, that's what we lined up trying to keep it as natural as possible and we are going to enhance the cut just to try to get it to 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 to, to another level and all the tools that you see me using there, there's a link in the description you're more than welcome to check out those links you can order there all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start to fade the beard in. I just figured I'd lighten um, the jawline up a little bit because it did look um, darker than the rest of his, his beard. And then we're gonna fade it. 
so that has a nice gradual um, blend into the beard. Now towards the top line of, of his beard, you don't want to really touch it because he, he barely has any hair there, hair there to begin with. So as I go up, I'm kind of lifting off of his face so that I don't cut the length that's at the top line that I'm lining up right now. And then the, the razor should, should give it as sharp a line as we could possibly give him. Damn it, Tito. So I, as you're looking at the beard, you just gotta have, you know, you just gotta believe that once you get to the razor, that's where it, the beard is gonna stand out. Don't don't sit there with the trimmer and go over the same spots over and over and over again and irritate his face. It's just not worth it when you can just go to the razor and make sure that you know it has a, a strong line. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and enhance the cut. I'm using Tomb 45 No Drip. You can get it at Tomb45.com and the Tomb 45 Beam Team XL Cordless Compressor. Now that I've enhanced the cut, I'm gonna go in and detail as much as possible. And this is, this is where I really had to spend some time, more time than I would have liked to. And I keep telling you guys, I know I keep repeating it, but again, if I got a rematch with this cut, we would have faded down to a one guard open, possibly a one guard close, then created our ball line and faded up into that one guard. And to me, we would have had less work, less stress, and it would have came out better. But we did everything we could to finesse this cut and make sure it looked, it looked good. And these are the new um, 245 triple cartridge razors. We got them in four different colors now. So if you want to check those out on tomb45.com, check those out. These are limited editions. Once they're sold out, they're gone. I don't know the next time we'll have them in stock. So if you know if you like them, go check them out. Pick pick up a uh, pick up about all of them. <laughs> Not nah, for real. I, pr I appreciate y'all support, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and line up the bottom line here. And when I line up the bottom line, I don't put a lot of pressure. I let the weight of the trimmer do the work. I, You know, my goal is not to irritate his neck. You know what I'm saying? So the less strokes that you, you use with your shaver, um, the less pressure that you put, the better off your client's going to be and the more comfortable your client's going to be. All right, guys, so this is the before, this is the after. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we're dropping almost daily content. So subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos, man. Smash the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow with the next video.